Welcome back everyone. In today's video we'll learn how to stomp the mushroom from above and kill it. Just like this. So if you want to see how that's done, stick around. Game Game Day Day Journey. Journey. Okay everyone, we want to be able to jump onto the mushroom's head and destroy it. So we only want to be able to kill the mushroom from above. Now the first thing I'm going to do is increase the size of the mushroom. Now take note, you don't want to do anything to the transform of the character body because that can affect the way collisions occur. You want to change the transform of the actual sprite that is the thing that is displaying what the mushroom looks like. So I'm going to double its size. I'm going to go to the transform and increase the scale to 2. And we can zoom out a little bit. And now we're going to have to adjust our collision shape over here as well. So we can make this a bit bigger. Something like that should be fine. And we may have to move this ray cast as well because the point of the arrow needs to be at the feet and it needs to be on the right hand side of the mushroom. Now that we've made those changes, let's just have a look that everything still works as it should. If we go to the first level and play it, does the mushroom still does the mushroom still display the way we expect it to? And yes, it is. It's just now we've got a much bigger mushroom to work with. It's going to be easier to stomp on the mushroom's head that way. Right, so let's go back to the mushroom and figure out how to do this. If we go to 2D here, what we want is we want an area of the mushroom that is its zone where it can take damage, its death zone, if you will. So to enable this, what we're going to do is create a stomp area using an area 2D node and then a collision shape 2D. So this area will represent the death zone for the mushroom. So we can add a area 2D. We can rename it to stomp zone or death zone. And then it needs a shape. That's what it's telling us over here. It needs a shape. So we're going to go ahead and add a collision shape, create it. Now we need to choose one of the shapes. I'm going to choose a rectangle and I'm going to resize it like so, so that this area at the top of the mushroom, if we enter this area here, that is where we can kill the mushroom. We could extend it all the way to there. Perhaps bring it. Okay, let's leave it like that. That is the death zone of the mushroom. So when the player enters the mushroom in this zone or at the zone, then we will hurt or kill or destroy the mushroom, whatever we decide to do. So we're going to do this using signals. So I'm going to choose the death zone. In the inspector, I'm going to go to the node and I'm going to choose the signals. Now the player is a character body. So we are going to look for the signal where a body enters this zone. And I'm going to connect it. Connect. So now in the code for the mushroom, I've got this on death zone entered. And what do I want to do when the death zone ent is entered? Well, I want to check if the body that entered this body here, I want to check if that body is the player. So an easy way to do that is to see if, if that body has the word player in its name. The other way to do it is to check if it's in, a, if it's in the group called player. So we've got two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the way by checking the name of the body. And our character body is called player. So it does have the word player in it. And it will, it will find it just fine. So if we can say, so we'll say if the word player is in the name of that body, body.name, then we will do something. And for our case here, we will subtract one from the health of the mushroom. So we'll say health minus equals one. So we subtract one from the health of the mushroom. Now, that it will keep subtracting health. It'll go into negative values here and, and nothing will actually happen. We want the mushroom to play some kind of death animation. And we've got one here mushroom death in an external program 
we can create some more of these sprites where it's just rotated so we can get it so that the mushroom spins around and that's what I'm going to do now. So in an external program I've just rotated this sprite a few times and I'm going to import those images that I created right now and I'm going to put them here in the, in the mushroom folder. So I'm going to drag them and drop them here in the mushroom folder. Oh, they didn't go in. But I'm just going to move them in there. And now I'm going to pull them in here so I've got them as additional frames. So when the mushroom dies, it's just going to rotate like that. And we could even duplicate this one. This is the one I want. Copy that frame. Paste it there. Okay, so we get a full rotation of the mushroom. So this is the animation I want to play when the mushroom dies. So let's create a function called mushroom death. That will check to see if health is less than one. Then we play our mushroom death. So we go death and we could also shoot the mushroom up into the air a little bit so we could say velocity y of the mushroom uh, minus equals 500 right now we have to call this function in the physics process and what we should also do is disable collisions on the mushroom and then stop its physics process before we destroy it. If the health of the mushroom is less than or equal to zero, or we could say less than one, then we want to actually disable collisions on the mushroom. So we want to actually say on the collision shape, we want to set disabled to true. And then we can turn off the physics process. So we can set the physics process to false. Okay. And then we can call mushroom death. Let's call it just before moving slide here, mushroom death. Okay. And let's have a look at how that works. Okay, and it's not working. So let's figure out why. All right, so we do have a little issue here. Remember I mentioned that we could check if the word player was in the name of the body that entered the death zone of the mushroom. Well, I went and printed the name of the body. And if you look at what's in level one, although player here, if I go to the player scene, player is a node 2D. Character body 2D is the body that enters the player. So this is not a good way to do it in our case. If I had made character body 2D the root node, this would have worked fine, but I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and use the groups method. So instead of saying if player in body name, we're going to say if uh, the body is if the body um, dot is in group and the group is called player then we'll do the same thing so if the body is in the group called player which it is you can see here it's in the group player then we'll subtract from the health. 
then we want to destroy the mushrooms, flip it up in the air. But now we actually need to destroy the mushroom somewhere, which we haven't done. If we destroy the mushroom immediately, as we've got it programmed right now, okay, we're, we're, in fact, we haven't freed, Q freed the mushroom at all. So nothing's actually going to happen here, except the animation's going to play out over and over and over again, because it's currently in the state where it's just going round and round. So we need to free up, we need to destroy that mushroom. But if we destroy it immediately over here when we kill the mushroom, so if we say when we run our mushroom death animation, we also destroy the mushroom. If we do that, you're not going to see the animation because as soon as you touch that mushroom, it's going to get destroyed. So let me show you there. You're not going to see the animation. So we only want to run Q3 once we've seen the, the death animation. So what we're going to do is in the mushroom, in the animated sprite, we're going to connect the animation finished signal. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that. And it's down here. So what we're going to do with the animation finished, if our animated sprite dot animation is equal to death, because that's what it's called over here, death, then we will destroy the mushroom. So once the death animation is finished, then we destroy the mushroom. So let's go ahead and test that. All right, and it is not working. So we'll have to see why it could be that that animation is looped and then it will never finish. So let's just check that. If we go to the mushroom, we come in here and there it is, it's looped. So we unloop it, save, go back to our first level, test it again, get up there, kill the mushroom and it's gone. All right, and obviously it doesn't look amazing, but we can tweak this. But the point is, as long as we enter the death zone of that mushroom, as long as we hit the mushroom from above, we can destroy the mushroom. In our next video, we'll see how we can hurt the player if we bump into the mushroom or the mushroom bumps into us from the side. See you then.